I'm Steve Ehrman from Master Gardeners and I'm talking about summer pruning and this is a very nice example of a cherry tree. Cherry trees and apricot trees should be pruned in the summer rather than in the dormant season because of a disease called, a fungal disease called Eutypha, E-U-T-Y-P-A, and uh, it is not very prevalent in the summer whereas in the dormant season it can attack through pruning wounds. So it's good to be able to bring this tree down so that it doesn't get too large. These vertical branches tend to be vegetative and they're growing upward. So I'm gonna be using reduction cut, a heading cut to bring this down to an outside bud fairly arbitrarily to about here, removing that much growth. In that way, we steal carbohydrates that would be going into the trunk in the tree uh, as reserves for growth next year, and this helps to semi-dwarf the tree. So I'll go throughout the tree and cut these verticals, cut them back. If they are too thick, then I will remove the branch all the way to its source, which then is called a thinning cut. So this is bringing the height of the tree down by two or three feet. And you can be fairly aggressive with this tree because it's got really good vigor. Now branches that are growing at a 45 degree angle or flat or even slightly downward on, on this cherry tree are producing a lot of fruit spurs. So the, the ones that are going upward are vegetative that's producing a larger tree, and the horizontal to angular upward are producing fruit, and that's what we want. A tree for fruit, not for magnificent size. Some of these I can't reach, I'll have to get my 200 pruners. And we disinfect the pruners so that we don't run the risk of transferring diseases from this tree or other another tree that we just pruned and keep it nice and uh, sterilized. You can see it's definitely to your advantage to keep a tree lower. We at uh, our advancing years don't want to be up on dangerous ladders. Some of these are even hard to access. Pruning, continuing to prune this cherry tree, bringing its height down. And this is a bud, a vegetative bud. These are all vegetative buds. And so this is a reduction cut, bringing down the length. This is kind of a vertical. These, once again, are more horizontal. These will produce flowering buds, but it's good to bring the whole thing down. These are flowering buds. They're in a clump up against the branch in this case, but those will produce flowers and fruit next year. The, the um, fruiting spurs on a cherry can last X number of years. Whereas on a peach or nectarine, they only last one year. pruning to outside buds, keep the tree growing outward. These verticals are clearly just going upward and there are too many of them. So I will take, make a uh, thinning cut here 
bring it all the way down to the truck. Normally, a lot of people would prune, do this kind of pruning in the dormant season, but as noted, cherries and apricots should be done in the summer where uh, eutypa is not prevalent. And eutypa can enter a pruning cut. So this is almost, this is almost as dramatic as my winter pruning would be. The advantage of winter pruning is that without the leaves it's clearer to see what's going on it's hard to shape it harder to shape a tree when it has all of its leaves you have less visible access okay i have to move my ladder. to a bud don't leave stubs this one has a stub and it died off. So the, the stub is fungal food that can enter the branch and using that energy to continue to attack into the tree. being careful to cut just right above each bud, leaving about a quarter inch. And if the fruit is up here at 10, 12 feet, the birds are gonna be the ones that get it anyway and not the person. Make sure you cut off this, any of these, this, these dead twigs. And once again, I'll spray. I'd like to reiterate, this is a very healthy looking cherry tree in the Sonoma County area. There usually is a lot of bacterial ooze from Pseudomonas. These are fruiting spurs. They are short, these branches are short. They're heading, hanging downward and you can see a lot of little buds here. Each blood, bud will blossom into a series of flowers to produce cherries. And as noted before, these are a lot more prevalent on branches that are not going vertically. So it's good to thin the inside of the tree out so that the sunlight can penetrate all these leaves seem fine so i'm going to leave them alone but generally speaking you don't want too much of a thicket on the inside oh here's a dead branch i'll cut it actually this branch goes up into there 
So I'll cut it back to here. Move out of the way there. You can be you can be shortened too. And I'll cut this one back. So I did not leave a stub that's cut with only about a quarter of an inch of additional room. And that looks pretty good. Short this one. So when you have a big tree as this one is, you've got your work cut out for you. Also, something to note about cherries is that many of them are not self-fertile. Lappins, Stella, Craig's Crimson, those are examples of, of self-fertile cherry trees. If you have a Bing, you need a pollinizing tree. So if you don't have a pollinizer, you'll probably have very little fruit, unless bees are bringing pollen from somebody else's yard. And it's frustrating to have a nice big tree, but no fruit. That's a stub. These are all heading cuts, just reducing the length of the growth so that there will be less carbohydrate returned into the tree in the winter. Here's a thinning cut, removing this all the way from its base. And I have to get back up on the ladder to reach those. And here's a dead branch in here. Good to remove the dead branches. You can see that the left portion of the tree where I've worked has been reduced by two or three feet and the right has yet to be done. It would be nice to keep the tree where those cherries could be reached by hand without the ladder, but this tree has already had years of very successful growth and it's kind of gotten larger than that already. But it's a great tree. So many trees in our area, especially in Sebastopol, where originally commercially uh, cherries grew we can, can barely grow a cherry tree in Sebastopol anymore because of uh, bacterial canker this doesn't even appear to have any bacterial canker so it's nice to see so I'm